Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And today we have the Marshall Tucker Band for you. The Marshall Tucker Band is somebody that we've never done before. No, first time on the channel, so I'm excited. That's a going theme for us on the channel is first time reactions. <laughs> yes. And uh, the Marshall Tucker Band is actually a name I've heard before. Mm, but I, I thought have. they were... I thought they were a recent band. I thought it was like a band that got popular when I grew, was growing up, oh. but I was just never interested in or heard. Yeah. But clearly from our research, they've been around for a very long time where yeah. they were really prom prominent beginning in the seventies, I believe. Yep. And that's what we're doing today is a song from the seventies in, in Can't You See. Now, I believe there's a live version of this song that's really, really popular and um, maybe it's great, but we like to start with the studio version when we get into a band for the first time. Yeah, get a better feel for their sound and then move to the live performance so we can appreciate the actual performance. Yeah, and why not listen to the song twice if it's that great? Right? Yeah. So um, we're going to start with the studio version here. We There is another cut of this one, which I think was the single version, but it was shorter. Mm. And we know that they cut some of the important stuff out of those. So yeah. we went with the album cut on this one. So hopefully this is a great version to check out. But we're going in blind here. You know, and we're, this is not a request or anything. We just came mm. to the Marshall Tucker Band and thought we'd put them on to our channel for the yeah, first time. Yeah, I'm excited so, to check it out. Yeah, and if you guys have recommendations for this band, let us know down below in those comments. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe by looking down below. Make sure that button right there <laughs> is hitting subscribe because some for some people it's been unsubscribing them. So you better check even if you think you are subscribed. Anyways, Sam, you want to add anything before we get started? No, I'm ready to check it out. She's ready to go. I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. Let's go.
We got a banger from the Marshall Tucker band. Yeah, I feel like this is very vibrant with all the instrumentation that they're using. Vibrant. Like, they have such a wide range of instruments, it seems like. Like they had in the beginning, which was really unique, was the wind instruments. I'm not sure if that was a flute or a clarinet. It was a flute. Was it a flute? Was, I'm pretty sure it was a flute they came yeah. in with off the bat. And I yeah, was, I wasn't sure if it was a flute or a clarinet, but I was like, it. what is that? And then the keys are very prominent throughout different pieces of mm -hmm. this. And then obviously you have the guitars so, and the drums. So you feel like that the instrumentation is coming to life on the song? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it makes it sound very full. I mean, yeah. the vocal is awesome. It sounds very soulful and call, uh, complements with the instruments. But I just feel like there's a lot of different instruments being used, which is kind of pulling my ear to that. Yeah, I love this composition in general. It's a fire song, like I said. Um, the vocal is outstanding. You know, he's got this strong, powerful little bit of raspiness to yeah, it. Yeah, like the perfect amount. With a ton of soul. Yeah. And um, plays in perfectly to the dynamic instrument use that they have. But I really, really like a couple of things in particular with this one. The pockets that they're using. So, you know, he gets in with his vocal and then they come in and they use a bit of the keys and then it comes out, comes back with the vocal. Then they come in with a little bit of the guitar usage, this call back and forth. Yeah, I feel like especially in the using. chorus. Yeah, I've been finding all throughout, it's, it's really pretty prominent that the pockets that they're using is, have been great. And also, I really like the mix that they have in this one, where they've got, like, my one ear, mm -hmm. they've got some of the guitars in the main, in the middle, they have the the rhythm section. So the way they're mixing in my headphones also sounds really, really cool. Yeah. It's almost like a live performance, but with the quality of a studio version, yeah. which is really, really cool. Yeah. And um, so even from the mixing components, I feel like they're they're adding a little bit of flavor to it. And and, you know, just musicianship wise, it's also outstanding. So um, loving this song so far. I mean, we're only three minutes in, but I've really been blown away already with the Marshall Tucker band and this Southern feel. But it's very vibrant, like you were saying. It's that it's got this flavor, that Southern flavor mm -hmm. to it. But I don't know if I've heard anything. It's still different. It's very unique. Yeah, I don't know if I've heard anything like that. I guess maybe, you know, using like the flute in the beginning, that's not customary. So um, they've got their own flavor. I for also sure. feel like they have more heavy key usage, at least in this song, in this um, heavy key usage, key usage than some of the other songs that we've done that are more of like a country, southern rock, mm -hmm. whatever kind of bluesy yeah. fusion, right? Well, let's see if they add anything else yeah. in the back half.
nice way to close. Beautiful song from the Marshall Tucker band. Really, really loved that one. Totally unique. Like I said, definitely enjoyed the use of the keys that you had brought up. Um, and remind me a little bit with the melody of that, uh, Jackson Brown. Uh, I can't remember which song it was that we mm -hmm. did, but um, had that like soulful, very vibrant feel to it that we really, really enjoyed in that one. And yeah. that's true in this one as well. I loved it and um, definitely want to hear more from the Marshall Tucker band. Yeah, we also didn't touch on the lyrics at all. So it sounds like this crazy lady really did a number on them or him. Yeah, he did not seem to like her very much. No, he was trying to get as far away as possible. <laughs> He, she's uh, poisoned him apparently. Yeah, but I mean, I like it. I like the simplicity of that. That kept it catchy and stuck in your head. And yeah, but the, that said, uh, with the lyrics, I didn't feel that way listening to this one. I felt good listening to this song. Yeah, yeah, like with the you instrumentation know? and the vibe of the song. Yeah, it was um, not a downer in any way for me. No, no, I didn't think so either. It was more so of him just being like, "I'm out of here." <laughs> yeah, I guess it could be like you know that feeling of. Uh, post breakup or something where yeah. you're like, you know what? I'm going to go and I'm going to enjoy my life and I'm going to live it to the fullest and nobody can hold me back. And yeah, you know, they have this cliche and you know, the fitness world where we come from of <laughs> breakups make bodybuilders because <laughs> you get really motivated after a breakup. So you go to the gym and you yeah. work really hard and you get a great physique and all that. Then you get in a relationship and it all goes downhill because <laughs> you get comfortable. That's, that's the, the, uh, the concept I think of, you know, comfortability and relationships in general, but yeah. related to this, I feel like we're kind of capturing that post breakup feeling yeah i got like kind of like mixed vibes though because at some point he was you know talking about like going on a train getting out of here and like you said the sound of it was very like like not negative but then he said things like i want to go in a hole and die so i was a little bit like wait what yeah well i think that's the feeling though that you get right when you somebody breaks yeah. your heart or something like that where you're so upset and you're yeah. so sad you're mad you're all of these things and that's the way you might feel at that moment yeah. it's like this the world is closing in on me yeah right but then he's like no i'm going here i'm getting as far away as yeah. far away as i can from <laughs> moving you, on and i'm going to enjoy my life so yeah uh, i don't know you guys can let us know what you think yeah. but can't you see you should let us know if we should check out the live version as of this as well yeah or now, anything else from them as well yeah now hearing this i would like to check out the live version mm -hmm, but I think that'd be you really could also cool. maybe check out a few other songs and then come back to the live version you guys can let us know what you think yeah let us know what you think about marshall tucker band in general and if they're one of your favorites if uh you know they were really popular for a long time if they got lots of hit records give us some advice on them we always yeah. like learning from you guys because you're a fantastic community they always provide us with yeah, so many so much, so much education and we don't know anything about them really so we love to learn yeah, I mean, there's so many artists and groups that we've done on the channel. We would be here a long, <laughs> long time researching every single one of them if yeah. we didn't have the input from you guys. So yeah. thank you so much for all the support, guys. Make sure you hit the like button before you go. Hit the comments, hit the subscription button, and then come back when, Samantha? Tomorrow, because we got two videos every single day. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys.